Hi everyone, happy holidays. I'm Daniel Pickett with ActionFigureInsider.com and we have a very special holiday treat for you. It's cold outside, I've got my puffy vest on, but I think you may recognize that that is my uniform for Back to the Future. I'm also here with my good buddy, Dog Brown. Hey Dog Brown, what's going on? He's been working on Time Machine, don't worry about him. But December 3rd is the day that you can get your hoverboard. That's right, Mattel has been showing us this since Toy Fair of this year, and it's finally here. It's another in their prop replica line. We've seen it with their Ghostbusters PKE meter and the Ghost Trap, but now we're getting our first taste of Back to the Future. So this is the mailer box that comes in. When uh, If you pre-ordered it, uh, you also get a miniature hoverboard that goes with your 6 inch scale figures. There will be a little sticker on the front of it that says that this is the one that has it. It will actually be inside the box, uh, so there won't be a separate box or anything. So if you pre-ordered it, you'll get that special sticker with the miniature one. So Santa brought me one already, so let's have a look at it. Excuse me. Now you've already seen this packaging. They showed it to us at Comic Con. It's got this great sort of futuristic graphics, uh, yet sort of retro. Imagining what this would be like if it really sold in stores like it was in 2015. Uh, on the back, it shows you the features of it with the safety strap, the velocity control pads, the poli polarity reversing acceleration boosters and, of course, your basic anti-gravitor lift cushions. There's also a fun little uh, Easter egg down here. They show it in pink for girls, blue for boys, but it does say that it's a fantasy image and the blue one's not really going to be available. So don't get your hopes up. This is the one we're getting, the pink one, as you saw in the movie. So, you know, great, nice, sturdy box. You open it up. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? It's ready for action. So it's got a couple of pieces of styrofoam holding it in, but it really comes out ready to go. So this is it. This is the, the finished product. So this is what you'll get. Uh, and we've, we've seen this version uh, just uh, at New York now. They showed it to us. It takes three AA batteries. They go in this compartment back here. And once you get those installed, all you have to do to turn it on, there's no on-off switch. You just put it level. And there it goes. It's on and running. It's got a variety of sound effects, and it moves, you know, you can hear them with the movement. So there's bank right, bank left, there's up, there's down. And then if you want to silence it, you can do two things. You can either flip it upside down, and you hear it powering down, or you put it under your arm like a skateboard, and that also turns it off. There's been a bit of controversy about uh, you know, the, the actual deck of it. Mattel brought in the actual prop makers, and they brought some of the existing boards, and they tried to do sort of an amalgam, because there were literally 30 different props of this thing, and not all, no two of them were the same. Some of them literally had shoes attached to them. But I think they did a good job, uh, a representation, every time you saw a close-up, this is kind of basically the board you saw. I know some people wanted like some lenticular stripes in here, uh, and Mattel did actually look at that. I know some people think that uh, they were sort of bamboozled or whatever. There's some very upset people online that are being very vocal. Uh, they tried to do that, but the problem was with these recessed channels. They, they got them for the Velcro, but it has to do with the manufacturing process of these, because these really are... These are such a, a low run. These are all hand manufactured overseas. So they tried it and it just didn't look right and they just didn't trust it and they couldn't bring themselves to you know, have you guys pay this much for them and it coming out kind of weird. So it's got the Velcro where you can put your feet. It's got the pad here. It does rotate. Put your foot in here. Uh, they do advise to not try and customize it and make it float because it says these things, if you mess with them, they will launch them into orbit. So let that be a lesson to all of you. Also, just like in the movie, does not work on water. So it doesn't float. They're not going to put out another version in 2015. But what they did do, and I, I, was, I was a little unsure when they first talked about this feature, what they were going to do is uh, these pads are kind of like what you use to move furniture with, slide on carpet, 
and I, I was a little unsure, but uh, I've tried it now here on the carpet in front of me, and it does actually work. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But uh, it, it works better than I thought. Now I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a husky lad, so I am not going to try and stand on this thing. Uh, but for those of you that ha own any of Mattel's other prop replicas, like the Ghostbusters one, you know the quality that goes into these. Uh, they're, they're super nice, super fun. It'll make a great gift. Pre-orders sold like gangbusters, and they've got a limited amount that are going to be on sale December 3rd on MaddieCollector.com. That's Monday, so you don't have a lot of time. They were kind enough to get me and just a, two other websites an early sample. So uh, this is the only look you're going to get it, of it before you get it yourself. So pretty cool. Mattel Hoverboard. Make sure you check it out December 3rd on MaddieCollector.com. And now you want to see it skid around a little bit because that's pretty cool. So let's turn it on. There it goes. All right. So as you can see, with just a little bit of effort, it's sliding around. Right here. And it reacts to the different sound, depending on how you do it. So, it works well. I gotta say, I'm impressed. The one other thing it does come with that I haven't shown you yet, still in the box, is it has a display stand. Here's the instructions to it. Has some fun facts and uh, features about it. The display stand is this cool little thing. It's clear, so it will look like it's hovering, but it does have a Back to the Future logo on it. Actually, Future 2, actually. And it just connects to the battery stand here. Let me set it up. I'm not going to set it down, but basically it just sits on that and you put it on the table or on your shelf and it looks like it's hovering. So, that's nice. Back to the Future, MaddieCollector.com, December 3rd. There's not going to be too many of these left, so if you want one, get in there and get it fast. Happy holidays, everyone.